Game one between T1 and GXR of this best of two series. First series of the group stages all together. In your dream, he's going to try and juke this one out, but he is completely alone right now. Polison's on the side trying to get a pull off. And in your dream, he is going to be able to TP in the end. So it's not all too bad. He will just have to take a salve off Polison and bot lane is where the first blood does occur. Mizu is able to secure Cuckoo as now Zephyr is also going to be chased down. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of back and forth. We saw Savage drop low. He had to get Alacrity. Uh, salved up. Alacrity. Yeah, he gets the... Uh, no, he didn't get the water rune. Zephyr took that away as well. They need a little bit more going here, especially for Alacrity. And he does make his way back bot for Cuckoo again. Yeah, Cuckoo, he's in trouble. Another nice Aether Remnant out from Zephyr into the Dissimilate. But Cuckoo, he's going to try and go for a run. They do have another step charge. Alacrity, he just wants to be able to land this one as Cuckoo. He'll run towards the left, but Alacrity is still on the chase. I don't believe he's in range, but the Aether Remnant right on the side. But it won't matter because they do get the Earth Spike and the split out. Alacrity now going to be in danger. He's going to try and dissimilate back towards White One. And we'll go after him, but the stuns are there. Cuckoo, he'll just hold him down. Another step charge by White Mon. He'll survive with the Fairy Fire. And now the Cold Embrace. He just won't die until Alacrity dies himself. Himself. And now Mizu, he could be in danger, but no, he'll try to chase down Cuckoo instead. And he'll go for the easy TP, but the curse is there. They just don't want to commit because they don't have anything to secure the kill onto Mizu after. And it feels like it's starting to build up here on the Luna. They are clumping around top, though. Yeah, they want Joe Cam. Hex is out from White Mon. No Spy Carapace is going to be there. Joe Cam, he's just gone. They do. Carl, he never got his BKB off. So Carl ends up getting caught out. Mizu, he'll give the tip over to Joe Cam, who did set up the killer. Now, with that Lena down, they should be able to try and pressure this mid T1 tower. T1, I don't think they want to fight without their mid laner. And that was a BKB up as well on Carl that never got used. And well, now, without a buyback on your Lena, this mid T1 is certainly just gone. This T1, they huddle around the mid T1, but it, it doesn't mean anything. They're just kind of watching it go down as White Mon. They know he's there, the Iron Shells. Look at the damage output. The curse is there, though. They'll hold him down. Now the split is out. A three-man Earth Spike as well, just to hold them all down. But do they have the damage? Carl is still down, about to respawn in five. But they need him right now as another Impel is there. They do connect on Savage. However, Joe Cam, he does drop. And BKB on Carl. And Paulison, he's going to be there to break the smoke. He doesn't have borrowed time, but no, he schools it up now. He'll be chased down. Rest of the team gonna join him in. Cuckoo, Primal Split, not off yet. The Aether Remnant gonna lock him down, but eventually he does get it off. He will not drop to the damage output of Alacrity. And now Carl will set up onto the Void Spirit. Laguna blades him down. It'll be a two for nothing trade. And guess what, John? T1, they do have a Roaching lineup. I'm enabling them to avoid that and go for their own play. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. You know you've got the advantage. Why not just keep up the pressure in the mid lane in your dream? Just gonna wait for Paulison, who will break the smoke in your dream. He's moving forward. Reflections there. They'll leave him be, though. Wall has been dropped as well. There's your primal split out. They really want Paulison down on that Abaddon, and they might just be able to get him, and they do. Laguna out will get the job done. Savage, he's looking for a bit more. He's got that Aegis up, so he's feeling very confident. His reflection does connect onto in your dream, but he's gonna be all right. They even tornado up the Luna, but they're not going to make the chase that far down. In an unfavorable situation. Anyway, have to be careful. Long cooldown on hand. Smoke out is there for T1. So they're going to go hunting. Let's see if they can get the catch out they need. They don't have forward vision, so it is a bit of a blind smoke here. Lacrity. Oh, oh Yule Scepter as well. Are they messing it up again? Vacuum's down. Wall is out as well. Mizu trying to help out as Alacrity. He's out of there. At least for now, but now the Hex is out. White one, he's caught the big one, the Void Spirit. Does he find his way out? BKB there, Savage. He's dropping low, but he has the Sunder. They do get Joe Cam, and now the Sunder's out onto Paulson. In your dream, he's going to try and fight. Savage is trying to man fight as well. Cold Embrace is there. He's out of his BKBs. Now the Eclipse is out. Savage, he's gone too far, and he is going to die. GXR, they do manage to make it work. It's going to be a two-for-one trade with the buyback out from the Nyx Assassin. Great position here from GXR. Cuckoo stuns out. They got the impel there from Joe Cam, but they won't have the. F or maybe they do. Sansa's in. We'll call it embrace. Aeon Disc also proc. Cuckoo Eclipse now out. He's trying to primal split. He cannot get it off. Great control from GXR. 
He does have buyback though. And they aren't going to rush high ground anyway. GXR, they're more than happy to take their time to keep the farm up. Trying to invade the high ground here on the triangle. Yeah, that they are. Polison. Start moving in there with Joe Cam. More D wards to come out. 23 Savage. He's going to pop the meta and just start a team Ooh. fight. Polis, and that's a lot of damage out. He is going to have the borrowed time going. Savage will not stop. And now Lacrity has jumped in, forcing out the BKB charge. So now meta and BKB is down. And GXR, they know they can try to force a fight right after as Alacrity is back in. They found White One on the Lion. Cold Embrace is going to save for now, but there's the Impale out and they just burst him down. From Joe Cam just walking up. Wow. So he's down to, what's that, six seconds? And they forced the team fight. Top lane, they're going to go in after Cuckoo. Primal Split is going to be popped, but they've already lost that tier 2 top tower. And in your dream, he's just going to stand his ground. They get the Cyclone off, but it may not matter. They've lost all the Brulings now as Cuckoo. He's still going to try and back, but a nice vacuum there from Mizu. Curse, however, is going to buy the time to get the second split off. Back in, there's a nice Earth Spike as well onto three heroes, but it just doesn't matter yet. They have the Abaddon. They'll move in onto the high ground. White Mon, very low, but the Cold Embrace is going to save the days in your dream. He pops the Satanic. Oh, to the Lena, they'll get Carl down. Now the Eclipse is out. They've oh. got Savage as well. That's a terrible lead down without buyback. There's not really much in the way of stopping them. No, no curse. They do have another. Well, no, they don't have a split for about 60 seconds for next charge. And they're going to rush tier force. They know oh they can clear us out really fast with the DD. Yeah, they definitely can. They've even found another target. Oh Zephyr is about to drop, but we'll no, he won't make it up. He does not in your dream. They're buying back all they can. GXR, still 40 seconds without the TBs Carl? in your dream. Now going to move back in. Carl, he got hit by the Impale. Can he survive with the Cold Embrace out? Is it enough? Not quite. The Vacuum's there and the now back. the jump in. The Impale as well. That's going to be it. GG's called. And if you asked, can GXR beat T1 in this game, number one? The answer is now officially yes. Yes, they definitely can. Against a Terrible Blade Savage did go for the early reflection this time. But even that spell is fairly annoying for a support to deal with as you just get run down, get slowed down, opens up chase opportunities from T1. And this lane should hold steady. I, I think you're still happy on GXR's end. The fact that Savage is forced to play this way by pulling the wave gives you an opportunity to pull that wave back. And Mizu just gets the solo EXP he wants anyway. So you hit the spikes on the DK. Breed Fire is leveled, not to stun, although. Yeah, Zephyr, top lane. He's going to be able to secure a first blood here onto Polison. Yeah, it shouldn't be too long until he starts to build up. Getting some good space out. They're holding back on Mizu bot. Can't really leverage himself in tier one, although. Yeah, in your dreams here, they're gonna have plenty of magic damage this time around to take down Cuckoo. And there's your snowball out. Chains is there, but in your dream was already waiting though. Knight's Fate Edict from Whitemon may have saved the day, and it does. However, 23 Savage ends up dying. Alacrity just kills off the Terror Blade. Meanwhile, GXR, they're not done yet. They might just find Whitemon, but no, they don't check the proper tree line. He might just make it out as now on the backside. Zephyr, he's reinitiated onto, onto In Your Dream, and they do get him. They do lose Zephyr as a trade, but it won't matter too much as now. White One, he's going to try and run with that Fate Edict again and might just make it as the Shards. They do lock him in, so they'll take out the Oracle. Cuckoo, he'll keep going after the DK, and he should be able to secure this kill. Where that GXR can build up to, and they're starting to wrap around top for Savage again. But they are. Big, big kill, and he's not going to be hard to take down, but Carl, he seems to expect this as he waits around, but how are you going to help him? Carl, he thought about it, but there's nothing he can do. So if you keep playing this far more game without any changes on map control, it's Again? Gonna awkward. They're going to try and miss you this time with a fourth hero, and they will get him this time. Carl joins the fray just to make sure. In fact, they're going to go for a bit of the dive now. Cuckoo going right in quite deep. Still wants to go with the Chakram. Going into that triangle, Alacrity, he'll be a great target if they could take him down. It's not going to be that easy, especially while Polison's around, but they'll go for the Hex out, but there's your disruption, making sure he takes no damage in the middle of all this disable. Alacrity, though, can you get out now? He'll go after Zephyr instead of trying to run, and I suppose there was no way out, but now a nice snowball back the way of Zephyr, still buying more time as Alacrity. He should die, but no, the Purifying Flames, he's going to heal through it. The Chakra won't connect either. He is going to make it out. What a save from Joe Cam. There's now Carl. He will try to go after in your dream, but he's out of mana. Oh, they went too far. T1. They end up losing three for one. GXR, they're still posturing. Looking for a way into a team fight. 
is under attack. But you want the supports first, the white one. He got scouted out there for a second. Tier 2 bottom tower is gone now. More TP's in. Carl, he's got a double damage rune. Maybe you can fight this one out, but what a massive Ooh. earth spike, Zephyr. He locks down three of them. Polis and Jokem, they're already gone. And now maybe they can chase them down. Try to go for a big team fight, but Alacrity, he's not done yet. Back in onto Cuckoo. They want the timber, and they'll get the timber. Alacrity still gets a double kill regardless of that great initiation from white mods but right now he, he's got a lot more farming to do as mid lane they have found out alacrity it's a big zip in but refraction is still there they burn through it now with the chakra but mizu is going to be around to help out the sound's not enough split earth is there as well cuckoo he's dropping low he'll chain away carl he'll have to zip out of there but the chase is on in your dreams not done yet as carl he's on the cliff of all things and they are going to find him can they do they realize Hi. Oh, they do. In oh, your yeah. dream, he'll take care of it himself. Zephyr is going to try and TP away. He's going to get disrupted. He's going to drop. And they even found Cuckoo across the other side of the map. Go down the bot lane. They'll try to go for a tier 3 tower of all things. Yeah. It's really not going to take long. They, they need to react really fast. Is that tier 3? It's gone. Carl, he'll zip in with the Orca, but Joe Cam's there with the Roller's Punch. Earth Spike is massive oh. though, Zephyr. Another three man, but the disruption is there to save the day's Cuckoo. Just barely about to drop and does. The Purge will be enough. He does not have buyback on that Timber, which means GXR, they can keep going after this Rax. Carl, gonna zip through. Zip TP is gonna be the play. In fact, no, he didn't even TP. It looks like they'll just play it safe. No rush. I think they understand. With this much map control, there's not as much space to catch up here. Whitemon, been caught out on the Oracle and he's gone. Very easy kill there for In Your Dream. As they're just going to go off that top tier 2 now. There is going to be a few GXR members around. In fact, they're going to bring Joe Cam in as well. Savage, got to be careful. Shards out, Joe Cam on target, but... Doesn't want to jump in. There's five heroes here from T1 as they zip in now with the Orkin out. But Mizu is there with the stun. Still, they burst down Joe Cam. In Your Dream... Not gonna move in. Gotta be very careful, but they do connect the split earth. Cuckoo! Ooh. He just gets blown up. They have the DD rune active on Alacrity. They blow up Ooh. another. Waimon gets two shot. Mizu's in. They found the line support as well. Another split earth, and they will find a third. Yeah, that's uh, good for yikes. Uh, they can still cut the creep waves with a storm, but. Oh, you got silence. Carl. Carl? Carl? Oh, Carl! Uh -oh. He got orc. He got silence midway. That silence is just busted when you don't expect it. Well, don't. Yeah, Mizu's copying a lot of damage here, but he's going to help around. They're still going to go in back oh, in onto Cuckoo. Fun. That could be a dieback here on Cuckoo. He's going to try and chain, but the last hit is going to make it. Mizu. He gets the kill. A dieback on the timber. GXR, however, it looks like they're going to back off and deal with that top wave. I think you really need the storm to build up, although. They find a lot of uh, bounty runes left behind here. <laughs> <laughs> Four, Four bounty runes. Jeez. No worries. Easy. So, what can you do? You know, sometimes the, the game's just so hectic, you never go back to your own triangle. You leave, you leave a bunch of bounty runes laying around. Still, they'll move in onto that tier 3 top tower now. Mizu is there. He's got the stun off onto Zephyr. Shard's going to block him in. Carl's going to be there to try and help out. He's going to be very cautious, though, as they do kill off Zephyr. He's going to buy back. Cuckoo, he's in now. But the trap sounds is just so annoying to try and play into. Carl, he's going to get Polison, but the Ghost Scepter was there. Glimmer Cape as well. They might get him, but no, the Snowball. Joe Cam, he saves the day in 23 Savage. He's down with that buyback gold. They'll lose Cuckoo as well this game. It looks like it is very, very over. And they call it 23 Savage. He's had enough. GXR, they get a 2-0 victory over T1. And what a dominant set of games here from GXR.